Hi, friends. This tap is for you if you are stuck in a mindset and are looking to see the bigger picture of something, you're looking to put something into perspective in your life and see from a wider lens. So I was tapping this week with a client and we actually talked a lot about um, shifting perspectives, how one person sees something one way and another person sees something another way and how it's possible, especially in a tap, to shift your perspective to be in one place when you start and then be in another place when you finish. And it's not about trying to get somewhere. It's not about trying to make something happen. It's just about being open and receptive to something being different, to a change in perspective, to a opening to a different possibility and opening to something different. So what does it mean to shift your perspective on something? Have you ever seen those like drawings? Um, I don't know what you call them, those drawings where there's like, can you see an old lady or a young lady, right? You know, those drawings that they have and it's like, okay, well, one person sees the old lady first, one person sees the young lady first, but neither of them are wrong, right? They're both correct because the way that the drawing is set up is so that there is actually like both possibilities at the same time. It's just a matter of how you see it or even how you want to see it. Because you know, if you take a look at those drawings and you see the old lady first, but you have someone else tell you that there's a young lady there, all of a sudden you adjust your vision or your open to the possibility of seeing the young lady, right? And then you can actually see it there. And sometimes it takes someone else pointing it out to you. Sometimes all it takes is that openness, that awareness to the possibility that it's there that allows you to see it. And so I invite you to consider what is something in your life that maybe you've been stuck on for a while that you are ready to let go of and maybe not even necessarily drop or let go of, but what is something in your life that has been a continued process that you want to perhaps take a step back from so that you can see things from a different perspective. And then it allows you to Maybe see all of the new possibilities that are there for you, all of the new ways in which you can move forward in a new way, if that's what you want to do. And then at least if you see all of the possibilities, the different perspectives, you have your lens wide open to see from an eagle eye point of view what is happening then you can make the most true and authentic choices, decisions, and actions in your life going forward. Because a lot of times we're stuck on these patterns that we've had for ages and ages, decades and decades. Sometimes we move past them and then we go back to them because they're old and safe and familiar, but they don't resonate anymore with the truth of who you really are. And you will know this because these patterns, these behaviors, these things that are happening, it's all feels old and it feels like uncomfortable. And 
in a lot of ways, I feel like these days we are being asked to expand in our truth and our authenticity and taking a step back and seeing things in a different perspective can allow us to have confidence, to trust in our truth, to trust what is right for us. Even when we have others' opinions around us, even when we have everyone who wants to tell us, you have to do it this way, or you have to do it this way, or you have to do it this way. And you're like, I see how that worked for you, but that's really not going to work for me. And here's why I know this, because I trust myself and I trust my truth. And thank you, but I'm not looking for feedback. Or thank you for your feedback and that doesn't work for me. Or not even feeling like you need to provide an answer, explanation, whatever. You do you. People want you. People want you in your truth, in your authenticity. People don't want this watered down, masked up version of what you think that they want to see. And that's my little that's my little monologue on that. So let's tap for a minute together and let's take a look at something that we might be open to shifting our perspective around. So just find a quiet space, a comfortable seat. And let's ground together and tap. So closing your eyes, gently feeling into your body, taking a deep breath in through the nose, letting it out through the mouth. We'll continue to breathe in through the nose, filling up the body with oxygen and exhaling. Any energy that wants to be released down into the earth, breathing in. Feeling that air swirling in your lungs, swirling in your mind, your heart, your body, and then, and then exhaling it down through your feet or your seat as you connect with Mother Earth. Breathing in deep and exhaling completely. I'm just tapping on the center of the chest. And I want you to start to feel into what is it in your life that you would like to see from an expanded point of view, from a different perspective? Is there anything that you are ready, open, and willing to explore seeing differently. Maybe it's an action you've been taking, a behavior you've been repeating over and over again, a mindset that you have around something in your life that's just driving you crazy. I want you to feel into that. And I want you to tell me what it is out loud. Maybe it's I'm really stuck on. Maybe it's I want to change around this. Maybe it's I want to explore my behavior around this. I want to explore how it feels and what it would like to be like to feel differently. Just naming it out loud, breathing in and exhaling. Tapping underneath the ribs, right in line with the bra line. And I want you to tell me how it makes you feel. How is it making you feel? Are you stressed? Are you worried? Are you overwhelmed? Are you tired? Are you angry? Are you sad? How are you feeling? around this thing.
And just breathing into that. Big exhale. You're going to tap on the side of the ribs. And I want you to repeat after me, changing the word if you need to, to feel more resonant with your truth. Even though I'm feeling, name all the emotions you're feeling. I love and honor myself for taking a look at this. And I love and honor this journey that I'm on. Tapping on the side of the wrist, even though I'm feeling this way, name your feelings. I'm open to accepting where I'm at with this. I'm just breathing into that. And if you feel a real little resistance to it, acknowledge that too. Tapping on the next finger. I'm open to shifting around this. And I'm also open to feeling it. I'm just tapping on the index finger. And I want you to go back to what you told me at the beginning, the situation, behavior, whatever it is in your life to you really need some guidance around, a perspective shift around. Perhaps because it's not serving you anymore. Or maybe it is. I'm tapping on the next finger, breathing in deep. Exhaling completely. And I want you to think of the ways when it, how it's been serving you so far. I want you to think of all of the ways in which it's been serving you so far. Sometimes we hold on to a belief or perspective, an idea, an action, a behavior, because it's serving us in some way. Maybe it's keeping you safe from some buddy, something, having to take an action, being hurt. What is it protecting you from? Are there benefits to holding on to this? Just name it out loud. I'm tapping on the next finger, opposite side, deep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Repeating after me. Even though I have this old perspective, this old belief, these old ideas. And I realize that they're not serving me anymore. I love and honor where I'm at right now. Tapping on the pinky finger. I love and honor the ways that they've served me so far. And just name those ways. It's kept me safe. It's kept me moving forward. It's kept me from getting hurt. And just breathing deeply into that. Letting go with an exhale and tapping on the side of the hand. Repeating after me. Even though I have my reasons, I love and honor myself. And I'm open to more compassion for this journey of life that I'm on. So just tapping on the top of the head, I want you to think about how your perspectives change as you go throughout life, as you learn new things. 
Sometimes we close ourselves off from being open to these new ideas and new perspectives because we need to hold on to things for a certain amount of time before we're ready to let them go. And that's okay. Just tapping on the eyebrow point, breathing deep into compassion and love for one who is on this earth, having this human experience, having this journey. And tapping on the side of the eye, breathing in deep. Exhaling completely and just repeating after me. I love and honor this journey that I'm on. Tapping underneath the eye. I love and honor different perspectives. Tapping underneath the nose. I'm open to trusting in the timing of my life. Tapping underneath the lips. And I'm open to seeing things differently. I'm open to a new perspective here. And I love and honor myself for taking a look at this. I love and honor this journey that I'm on. Tapping in the center of the chest, taking a deep breath in. Big exhale. As I learn and grow, I understand more every day. I open myself to new ideas, new perspectives, and new possibilities. I don't have to force things to change. I can allow myself to be open to receiving, open to allowing new ideas, new perspectives, new ways of being. Deep breath in. Big exhale, tapping underneath the ribs. I'm open and receptive to a new perspective. I'm open and respect receptive to new ideas. Tapping on the side of the ribs. I'm open and receptive to allowing in new ways of being, new ideas, new perspectives, so that I can discern what is right for me. so that I can discern what my truth is. Breathing in deeply to that. Big exhale, tapping on the side of the wrist. I'm open and receptive to new perspectives, to new ideas. for the truth to come through, for what feels aligned to me. Uh, 
tapping on the thumb. I'm open to discovering what my authentic truth is. And I'm open to a shift. Take a deep breath into that. Big exhale. Tapping on the finger. I don't have to change anything at once. I don't have to change everything at once. Right here, right now. is right where I'm supposed to be. I'm opening myself to become more receptive. Tapping on the middle finger, I'm opening myself to stepping into my authenticity. Tapping on the next finger opposite side, I'm open to stepping into my authentic truth. And I'm open to knowing clearly what that is. Tapping on the pinky finger. I can trust that I know what's right for me. And I can trust that it's safe to lean in to my own desires. It's safe to lean in to my own needs. It's safe to trust my authentic truth. Tapping on the side of the hand. Breathing into your lungs, expanding. Big exhale. just gently stop tapping. You can place both hands on your heart center. I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes for a moment and feel into that space underneath your hands. Feel into that heart space, that place that knows what your truth is. That place that knows your authentic soul taking a deep breath in big exhale just allowing yourself to be open and receptive. Knowing that all the answers that you need, the clarity, ideas, actions, that will propel you to embody your authentic truth. It's all right here for you right now. I'm waiting for you to access it. Taking one more deep breath in. Filling up the lungs and letting out a sigh with a big exhale. Ah. And I'll have you reach out, arms up in the air, hands out fingers out wide. And I just want you to look up. 
look up and imagine yourself as a receptive vessel of whatever wants to come into your life. Taking a deep breath in and bringing all of that knowledge, that information into your heart. Thank you for tapping with me today. I invite you to get out your journal and just start writing right now. And I will see you in the next tap.